morning. Our coverage continues on swimming safety. Earlier in the newscast, we heard from lifeguards at the beach. Now we're hearing from the people protecting us in the pool. Channel 5's Crystal Martinez reports. According to the Texas Department of Family and Protective Services, as of yesterday, 20 children in the state have died in drowning incidents this year. One local lifeguard and swim instructor says she witnessed how fast the drowning can take place, even in relatively small amounts of water. If I wasn't right next to this student that I was about, you know, 12 months old, he fell back in the water and couldn't get back up. And he struggled and to get back up. And if I didn't help him, he would have been stuck there. According to a release, Protective Services says these tragic accidents can be prevented with awareness, preparation, and maybe most importantly, proper supervision. Lifeguards in particular, since they are not only taught how to rescue, but also how to render aid if needed. If there's not a lifeguard on stand and nobody to watch you swim, an adult present, I wouldn't get in the water if you're not comfortable. Bishop also says it's important not to overlook the depth of the water, especially for anyone who wants to get in but may not be able to swim. There's little signs that say, you know, two feet, four feet, six feet, and eight feet and 12 feet. So you want to make sure you know the depth and what depth you're comfortable in. The American Red Cross also encouraging people to take safety precautions around the pools. Things like securing your pools with barriers, staying within arm's reach of children, and checking the water first thing if a child is missing. Bishop says although objects like pool noodles can't be fun, they should never be used as a flotation device since they can give people a false sense of security. The noodles that we have are not flotation devices because when they slip out and you're where out of your depth and you can't reach, well, guess what? Your safety net's gone. And lastly, if you or your child are not strong swimmers, it's never too late to learn. Crystal Martinez, Channel 5 News.